The outrage and pain over the way veterans were treated at VA hospitals. It reached a new fever pitch today as families lashed out about a health care system that failed some men and women who served this country. And tonight, a doctor comes forward exclusively to ABC News and the Center for Investigative Reporting to tell us what he saw firsthand. Here's ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila. On display at this Phoenix Open meeting today, open pain and anger from families who lost loved ones waiting for VA doctor appointments. My dad is no longer here and I know there is something done wrong. It took months for them to see him. They just kept telling him, be patient, sir. I'm here to tell you that my dead veteran husband cannot be much more patient than he is today, but me, I'm pissed. Sally Barnes Breen was at the meeting, caretaker for her father-in-law Thomas, who like 40 other documented cases at the Phoenix VA, died before seeing a doctor. Breen, a Navy vet, died of bladder cancer two months after he was promised someone would call him back. They have no business, the uh, VA, to treat them like animals and delay their care. And it's not just Phoenix. The scandal spreading across the country with charges from inside the VA from doctors and clinicians who charged there was a systematic cover-up that hid those delays from bosses in Washington. Brian Turner, an appointment scheduler first, from the yeah. San Antonio VA hospital, says he was trained to keep two-year waits off the books. There was something a little bit different and strange out of what we were doing. And this doctor, talking exclusively to ABC News and the Center for Investigative Reporting, says he lost his position as chief of psychiatry at the St. Louis VA because he tried to get the mental health workers there to see patients for more than an average of three hours a day. They averaged just six patients a day, while psychiatrists at private nonprofits were seeing 14. We were not seeing enough patients a day. The workday started late. It ends early. Dr. Josie Matthews says short work days led to long delays. When you're not able to care for enough patients per day, you know, you're basically creating this logjam. This scandal has rocked the Veterans Administration. The VA is conducting its own nationwide audit. There are investigations by both Congress and the Inspector General, and the VA Secretary has been called to Capitol Hill to testify.